even though the Baltimore Ravens won the division, even though they finished 11 and five, we're still somehow playing in the divisional round, excuse me, the wild card round of the playoffs. So it is what it is. We got to do what we got to do. We're facing the LA Chargers. And that is our only focus right now, even though Isaiah is trying to quickly look up the rules of the NFL to say, how the heck are we in the wild card right now? Besides that, we're going to run into today's game and hope that Isaiah's first taste of the playoffs ends up being a memorable one. He's asking around for some tips saying, you know, you were a rookie. What did you do if you got to the playoffs? What did you do? Because Isaiah wants to make sure that when he steps on the field today, it's a legendary performance. And to make sure this performance is a memorable one, we're again going to upgrade our power back status. From an elusive standpoint, I think we've got what we need to basically have done. We are killing it there. We get plus one to break tackle and plus three to trucking. Slowly but surely, Isaiah is becoming a complete back all around. And before we hop into the game, I want to cover the awards really quickly. The NFL MVP, Josh Allen. Go ahead and tell me if you had that one written down before the season started, because I can guarantee you did not. But even though Andrew Luck retired in real life, he's actually the second runner or the runner up for the MVP. And Isaiah is sitting at third in his rookie season for MVP. I'm not mad at that. Coach of the year is going to Griffin Murphy of the New England Patriots. From the AFC side to run through it, your offensive player of the year goes to Josh Allen. Your defensive player of the year goes to Miles Garrett. Your offensive rookie of the year goes to none other than Mr. Isaiah King Jr. Also, shout out to Justice Hill, who also made a little bit of an appearance on that countdown. Your defensive rookie of the year goes to Devin Bush. Your best quarterback goes to Andrew Luck. Your best running back, of course, goes to Isaiah King Jr. Best receiver, Antonio Brown for the was Oakland Raiders. That's kind of an odd thing. Tell me what you think in the comments down below of Antonio Brown's situation that took him from Oakland to New England. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Best offensive lineman goes to Marshall Yonder, who we ran behind a ton this season. Best D lineman, again, Miles Garrett. Linebacker, Von Miller. Defensive back, Denzel Ward. And best kicker, because kickers are people too, goes to Brandon McManus. To cover the NFC side really quick, the Offensive Player of the Year goes to Matt Ryan. Your Defensive Player of the Year goes to Quan Alexander. Offensive Rookie is Kyler Murray. Your Defensive Rookie is Devin White. Best quarterback is Drew Brees. Your best running back is Ty Gurley. Receiver is Michael Thomas. The Saints were obviously loaded. Uh, best offensive lineman goes to Zach Martin. The Cowboys had not one, not two, but three people out of the top three. As D lineman is the Karis McKinley. Uh, linebacker is Quan Alexander. Defensive back is Richard Sherman. And best kicker is Mason Crosby. Your league leaders in the major categories, you see Tom Brady through for just a hair shy of 5,000 yards. If we try to find our guy, Lamar Jackson, 3,700 yards, 29 TDs and eight picks. Still a really good year by him. Your rushing leader is obviously Isaiah King Jr., who had roughly a 500 yard advantage on basically everyone. He also ran the ball a lot more than most people in the NFL. From a touchdown perspective, he had six more touchdowns than the closest person, and we had not one, not two, not three, four people tie at 12 touchdowns behind him. Michael Thomas had 83 catches for 1,200 yards. You also see him go out here and have 18 touchdowns, which again led the league. On the defensive side of the ball, your tackle leader was Nigel Bradham with Juan Alexander and Levante David shortly behind him. Your sack leader ended up being Miles Garrett, who got 23. That's a whole lot. That's either the record or close to the record. Off the top of my head, I can't exactly remember. Then your interception leader was to Denzel Ward, who ties Desmond King II and with Micah Hyde all at five. But enough of all the accolades, enough of all the stat leaders across the NFL. We are getting ready for some playoff football. And we're here at home. Baltimore is a place that when playoff football comes, it's usually a pretty fun one. We're going to be taking on again the LA Chargers today. Isaiah, ready to go. The offensive line, I hope they're ready to go. We're going to be running behind Marshall Yonda a lot today. We're hoping our defense can step up and stop Phillip Rivers, Keenum, and all those guys. So, cross your fingers and we can do what we got to do and let Isaiah run wild. Because if Isaiah runs wild and our defense holds up, he's about to be in the bag. So look at the wild card round. It's us versus LA and New York Jets versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Should be some fireworks this week. Now, one of the last times we saw Isaiah field a punt return, it ended up looking pretty good for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, a deep punt is out here, and this one is going nowhere close to Isaiah. It's out at the 14. We're picking up here with Lamar Jackson. The ball in the backfield. Isaiah behind him. Fullback's there as well. Little triple option, and Isaiah probably should have stayed with his quarterback because he went for a loss. So instead of started off strong, we started off what some people might call the wrong way. Second and 11, though, Isaiah. We're going to run. Oh, try to juke, but Derwin James had other ideas. Some people might say that playoff football is a little bit different from the regular season. Isaiah wide open. Lamar says, I don't care about you, Isaiah. I'm going to go ahead and run. And for whatever reason, he opts to slide and fourth down coming up. The Chargers got the ball after we punted to him. And as you can tell, they got three points to the board. Our first drive wouldn't exactly call it ideal. And the second drive is starting off not very good either. It looks like the Chargers are saying, look, if you're going to beat us, it's going to be through the air because we're not allowing you to run at all on us. 
Isaiah stays back and pass protection. This ball goes up the middle. You're going to see Boyle take this one for about nine yards. So with Boyle picking up nine yards, there is third down and one, if you can do the quick math. And the ball off to Isaiah. Isaiah's looking for some room. He got it, and then he immediately gets destroyed. He gets a good chunk of yards. First quarter is winding down now. We're getting not a lot of success for our offense at the moment, but we're trying to find and get a little bit of something. Isaiah says, excuse me. I got some room to make out here. Picks up a huge gain for about 18 yards. But that was a big run. The largest of the game so far for us, and it put us on the right side of the 50-yard line. So first and 10. The run working. We're sitting with the play action. They don't bite too heavy on it. Lamar's got all the time in the world. Goes back to his fullback, who unfortunately cannot pull it in. That play not working out too well. We're going back to it here. Second and 10. Most are coming hot off the edge. We go for a dump underneath to Hayden Hurst, and he gets minimal yards at that. So with third down and eight, we're going to try to go for a little bit of something different. Medium to deep yards. Isaiah's open. This ball is deflected off Isaiah's helmet. He flips over Hayden Hurst, and his teammates aren't too happy with him right now. I think what we can chalk this up to so far in the first quarter and a half for Isaiah is that he's nervous. This is first time in the playoffs. you got to imagine his nerves are going to be at an all-time high, and Isaiah says, let me... Is he alive? What we were trying to say is Isaiah wanted just to run wild and then Derwin James hit him extremely hard for the second time. There's no need for that, Derwin. Isaiah says, look, you're going to hit me a couple times, but I'm not going to fumble another big gain up the middle. But it really looks like they're the Saints and they've got, you know, a certain defensive coordinator paying people for a little bit of a bounty gate to try to take Isaiah out. Now another good juke and Derwin James comes in hot again. Despite Isaiah getting hit, so hard right now. He's still doing really well. He's picking up yards. The offense is moving down the field and he's doing his best to get this offense going. Well, Isaiah outruns his blockers for the zillion time in the world, but to everyone in the comments telling him to stop doing it, he picked up a nice first down. 43 yards through the air for Isaiah. Gotta love it. First and 10 now, Lamar Jackson from the 10 yard line. Both are coming in off the edge. This ball is thrown to literally no one. Second and goal now, heavy formation here for Baltimore. Little halfback toss to the edge. Isaiah's looking to get out here. He's got one guy in front. Jukes him out of his shoes, and they drop him at the one-yard line. So with that, it is third down and goal. A lot of heavy lineups on the right-hand side. Isaiah staying in the block. This ball's wide open and is thrown to who else but Mr. Roberts. Excuse us, but we're on the board with a touchdown, and just like that, Baltimore has taken the lead. Now, there is going to be a booth review here. I looked at that replay a couple of times. I think he's definitely in. Robert's got both feet down. He even got a third one down there in that last little toe tap. We got one. We got two. And then he brings his left foot back down again. It was easy. That's a touchdown. And while that drive was magnificent, the Chargers said, don't worry, we got a good drive of our own. And they answered back pretty quickly. Gave themselves a touchdown to make it 10-7 with their lead. Second and seven, a minute and a half left. Again, we're trying to get a touchdown or at least a field goal here. Marvin, plenty of time, but Isaiah apparently can't block to save his life. And that's a sack. So after that sack, we line up here with third down, 14, and a whole lot of time left on the clock. Isaiah's open. Now running, and uh, I hate to see it. Isaiah's screen this time doesn't go nearly as far as the other one, and we're punting late here in the second quarter. The good news is, though, the Chargers get the ball back, and they do not score the rest of the first half. So here we are starting the third quarter with a three-point deficit here in the playoffs, trying to make something big happen. Isaiah with a carry up the middle. He's got plenty of room here. Jukes up the edge, and no one's going to catch him. Isaiah's on to the race. He's the fastest player in the NFL. And just like that, he goes zero to hero. And the young fella is in the end zone for the first time today. After Isaiah's insane run, the Chargers answer back, but they only get three points in the room. So we still have a one-point lead. Isaiah again trying to familiarize himself with running the ball up the middle again because he hasn't been super successful there, but he picks up 11. Lamar has definitely struggled getting a deep passing game going, but Isaiah said, look, I'm picking up the slack here. I'm going to put the team on my back as much as I have to. Lamar finds somebody here, but unfortunately, it is not a member of the Baltimore Ravens. This one is going to be picked off. And Isaiah makes a tackle, which you never want to see, but at least he saved Cameron Hayward Jr. from going into the end zone. Now, the Chargers do get a touchdown after our turnover, but they don't get the two-point conversion they tried for, so it's only a five-point lead for them at the moment. Isaiah again back at it, and Derwin James... What did you eat this morning? As much as we have to, we will run this ball. We have about 56 passing yards right now and over 150 plus rushing yards at the moment. And even as good as our running game has been, especially here in the second half, it doesn't matter if our passing game is going to be trash. They can load the box and be in a whole lot of trouble. But wait a second, Lamar. Good news is completed the pass. The bad news is 
consecutive passes to the Chargers. The Chargers get the ball, obviously, after that interception, and they don't really do much with it. So the start of the fourth quarter, about a minute has passed, and they're putting this one deep to Isaiah here from about the six-yard line. Isaiah's going to take this one, and he goes basically nowhere. Only a gain to seven on that return. Things are looking really, really tough right now. We're down five. There's a lot of time left on the clock, but our passing game has just been at an all-time low, and we cannot block at all. Bosa gets in for a sack, and all of a sudden, we're inside our own 10. Loss of six yards there with Ingram and Bosa coming in on that sack. Going to a halfback screen. This worked pretty well. And we forgot how to run it, apparently. We're in trouble. So it's third down, 16 yards to go. Got to cross your fingers. Somebody can make a play here. Lamar Jackson can stay upright in the pocket. All the time in the world for Lamar. All the time in the world for Lamar. Someone caught it, Willie Sneed. We're alive still. We can do this. It's a big one here. They're stacking the box. It looks like they're expected to run up the middle, but instead we're going to the outside. Isaiah looks for blocks and just can't quite get it from Williams on the edge. Got to feel like if we can just get something going, a little bit of pass protection, a little bit of blocking, and we're going to be just okay. And Isaiah says, let me get some room here. Goes for a stiff arm. You rarely see it. And he's down to the 35. Kind of insane, but it's not totally unexpected. The vast majority of the offense has been through Isaiah King Jr., Isaiah again trying to get to the outside and just can't quite get around the corner. Second down, 10 yards to go. And the 35 again, only down five points. Isaiah was wide open, but instead Roberts catches it across the middle. So third down, four yards to go, under four minutes left in the game. We are in field goal range, but don't want to settle for a field goal here. Isaiah's open. Goes for something, but Derwin James is not about that life, and we're kicking a field goal on fourth and two. Wait a second. Coach says, let's go for it. He says, no field goal here. We're only three minutes left. We don't trust our defense. Got to go ahead and go for it. Isaiah tries to bounce to the edge, and Bosa is having... Excuse me, that's not even Bosa. I don't even know who that is, but they're not having it. And all of a sudden, we're going to the sideline. And just like that, our season is over. The playoffs are done. Isaiah's one big mistake probably cost the Baltimore Ravens their chance at advancing in the playoffs. It's a pretty shocking defeat, but if we go over the stats really quickly, Phillip Rivers, 29 of 42, 300 plus yards, two touchdowns, not a single turnover. Lamar Jackson, 10 of 16, not bad. 127 yards, one touchdown and two picks, not exactly ideal. Justin Jackson ran 15 for 41, Isaiah goes 15 for 159 and one touchdown. On the ground, his stats were fantastic, but he left a couple of plays out there that you have to imagine if he could have converted, we'd have been much better off. In the air, Mike Williams went 11 for 89 yards. Hunter Henry, 7 for 97. He had Isaiah at 4 for 74, but nobody else really got involved. I mean, having two catches in seven yards and two catches in five yards, not exactly how you want to go out. In a game that I thought we had in the bag, we unfortunately couldn't get our passing game going, which led to our running game getting stifled in a couple of situations. Never want to see your season end like this one. Isaiah played extremely well. He got Rookie of the Year, finishing third in the MVP, is one heck of a thing to hang your hat on. But if you do all of that and you lose in the first round of the playoffs, a season like this is one you never, ever want to have.